Wooded trail. While walking a wooded trail near their house, Redditor Angel of Souls 25 hears a strange sound. Listen closely. Do you hear it? They believe it sounds like a siren of some sort. And to add to the creepiness, According to the Redditor, a group of crows converged shortly after. Many in the comments don't think it's necessarily paranormal, though. I think this Redditor is probably right, but without knowing the natural explanation, seeing crows descend after hearing this would amplify the creepy factor by at least 10 times. Number 20 What would you do if you came across this hairy humanoid in the wild? Published to YouTube in December of 2018, YouTuber Evangelica Salazar commented on the video. This is a duende. It's a humanoid creature that is rare and talked about throughout the years. These infamous creatures dress themselves and live in deep holes in caves slash forests. If this is indeed a duende, this strange folkloric creature's name comes from the Spanish phrase duende casa, which means professor of a house. Some describe the creature as a mischievous house guest. However, in other cultures, the hairy beast takes various turns. If this hairy creature is really a duende, you'd better watch where you step. A YouTuber named Tret uploaded the scary moment in Russia that has people wondering what it could possibly be. He looks down a boarded up well in the middle of the forest and sees a scary face in the dark. This could be a weird creature sighting or a ghost sighting depending on how you look at it. To be more realistic though, I see the head of a turtle. The blue eyes are weird though, so maybe that's not it at all. This YouTuber shakily records their apartment while inspecting every last corner. It's obvious that they no longer feel safe here and want to record for proof. Nothing is out of the ordinary until they silently cross into the bedroom. And that's when the horror is revealed. A girl with long black hair over her face sits crumpled on the floor. Look again and you'll see that even her arms and feet have no detail at all, like a silhouette. When he checks again to make sure he is not seeing things, he's surprised to find she is all gone. Is this really the mummified remains of an extraterrestrial? YouTube channel Paranormal Planet thinks it is. The creature certainly looks unique with its small skull and long neck. I can see why they'd think it's an extraterrestrial. I'm wondering if the mysterious arrangement surrounding the extraterrestrial was part of the blast. I'm also curious if the extraterrestrial is attached to it in some way. Will some in the comments think it's clay, a dinosaur, or a severely dehydrated turkey? I think there's a good chance that this truly could be extraterrestrial. Something still haunts this tunnel, and Franco from the YouTube channel Franco TV is delving deep into the belly of the beast. He sees signs that he's not the first one here. It won't be like this for too long. There's even a handprint up there. I have to find out what it is about in the But it won't be like this for too long. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get quiet. In the tunnel, he hears something off-putting. He just heard something there. Which got me off guard. He asks the spirits a question, and they answer via the K2 meter. Si tu estás aquí conmigo, tu puedes hacerlo otra vez? It's going. See? When Franco turns off the lights, the spirits turn them on again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all the lights. So it's gonna be really hard to see anything. Okay? Yo voy a apagar todas las luces. 
As Franco leaves the tunnel, he comes across a makeshift memorial, which seems to indicate that a number of people passed away in this very place. It is actually ridiculously scary. Especially this part here. It looks like several people died over here. Did Franco just communicate with one of them? I have no doubt, and hopefully that communication helped them reach the other side. What do you see around this corner? Published by Arte Morbid and originally posted on TikTok by Haunted Wesley E. Manor. This short clip is just one more proof that the manor is truly haunted. In a very dusty chamber of the castle, watch the corner of the arched doorway closely. What appears to be the figure of a small boy with glowing eyes peeks out for a moment before pulling back behind the barricade. He seems to be hiding. Is this a ghost? Or some small kid playing tricks in the castle? Most in the comments think it doesn't look human and call it very creepy. What do you think? I think we are going to be left with more questions than answers for the time being. There's a famous pub in Sydney, Australia called the Carlisle Castle Hotel. For years, this local watering hole has been haunted by the ghost of Old Pete, a bitter ex-employee who left the earth quite some time ago, but not his job. His ghostly antics have been caught on camera no less than three times. The first time Pete was caught on tape, he was helping a customer. The unsuspecting man opens the door to the cooler when Pete decides to grab two bottles of red wine for himself. His ghost grip must have not been too tight though because both bottles go crashing to the floor. Looking at the footage, there's no way that the shelf gave out or anything like that. The bottles were thrown to the ground with deliberate force with no one nearby. Another incident occurred when the bar was full of witnesses. Everyone is happily enjoying themselves when a hanging red wine glass suddenly dislodges itself and smashes into the counter. Glass shards fly everywhere and the entire bar takes notice. Although this could have simply been a freak accident, what are the chances that, of all the red wine glasses, the one that's directly underneath the server happens to be the one to fall and break? The timing is almost too perfect to be a coincidence. Old Pete strikes again. The third and final tape reveals a glimpse of Old Pete himself. The bar is empty this time when the angry ghost suddenly materializes in front of the security camera. If you look closely, you can make out Old Pete's head at the bottom of the screen. He appears to be waving. Many other bartenders and customers all claim to have seen Old Pete for themselves in one way or another. It isn't uncommon for tapes to turn on by themselves, and the bartenders have seen what they can only describe as strange things while counting down their registers after close. To make this all even stranger, all of the bottles that go crashing to the floor are always high-end red wines. This just so happened to be Old Pete's favorite drink, at least when he was still with the living. This video, posted in July of 2008, claims to show something unknown on a foggy winter day. As some boys play on some random tubes in the forest, one of the boys points out something in the distance. The boy filming zooms in but does not first capture whatever it was. The first boy says it must just be an animal that went into the woods. They decide to go after it. The cameraman captures a humanoid figure at a distance, which he believes to be a yeti. Many in the comments of this video think it is legit, probably one of the most authentic videos I've seen. Icy Waterslide writes, What do you think? Is this true footage of one of the most mysterious monsters on the planet? Bill and Lisa have a problem at home that's not the average couple's quarrel. Bill keeps seeing movement in the house, so he sets up an infrared camera system to catch it on tape. This narrow figure glides across their dark doorway at night. Here it is again from another angle, an imp-like figure roughly the size of a child moving towards the stairs. It enters their master bedroom next. It's not tall but looks powerful. And a short while later, the shadow figure runs down the stairs and out the door. This is most likely special effects, but there is one reason it could be real. Infrared technology is designed to detect heat. So when something is purple, like this shadow figure, it means it's detecting the absence of heat. In other words, the passing chill of something that is in the shape of a human. Bill also claims to have been followed by this shadow figure, despite moving to a new location. So tell me if this video is enough to make you believe him. What would you do if you kept finding food disappearing from your fridge at night? That's what kept happening to old fogey John, and when he set up a security camera, he was shocked at what he found. Trending in the Brazilian YouTube community via the YouTube channel EXTV, this video's original source is old fogey John on both YouTube and TikTok. Let's take a look at the footage. Pfft. 
This home invader does not look human, and even the cat to the right recognizes that. First, the creature pokes its head through the window and appears as though it might attempt to climb in. Then it slinks back out for unknown reasons. Did this creature know it was on camera? Its red, bulging veins, dark, otherworldly skin, and glowing eyes makes me think it's not of this world. But is it a demon? I can't answer definitively, as I assumed their only appetite was for human souls. In the woods near Crybaby Bridge, this paranormal crew asks the spirit if he likes their company, and the spirit answers. Published by Hauntings of Ohio in February of 2020, the scary paranormal communication was captured on video. The video shows the crew communicating through a spirit box. After posting the video, this is the answer they receive. Do you like your company? <laughs> what the? The guys say this is one of the clearest and most demonic voices they've ever caught on camera. Terrifying though it is, at least the answer was yes. Do you like your company? <laughs> what the? Oh, dude! That was crystal clear, dude. Yeah, yes. Catholics honor the departed on November 2nd with All Souls Day praying for the souls of their departed family and friends, often with visits to the graveyard. But what happens when the soul hasn't crossed over? Published by own vlogs, these paranormal investigators visited a haunted graveyard in order to answer that question. As the crew wanders around the cemetery's open graves, they suddenly see this vague, pale figure in the distance. After glancing over several times at the figure, the men get too scared by its stillness and start running off. <laughs> Gathering some courage, they turn and look back. The figure is still there. They run off again and straight out of the cemetery. Was this a soul that hadn't yet crossed over? Or just a graveyard statue? In any event, this is one scary video that went horribly wrong. <laughs> Matt Bell accidentally manages to catch his neighbor's house on video as it goes up in flames. Watch about a minute in as a flaming piece of debris flutters across the street and lands in his hedges with a solid thud. Soon his front yard is ablaze, and now Matt's house looks like it is about to go up next. It looks pretty bad for a while, until his neighbors run over with some garden hoses and work on putting out the flames. Meanwhile, all Matt can do is watch on his phone with terror as he rushes home. Please put that out for me, please. I'm on my way home. Grab the bus! Yeah, I know. I'm on my way. The authorities are ultimately able to contain the blaze and keep it from spreading to other residences. This video just goes to show how easily the fire could have spread. If that flaming chunk had landed on Matt's roof instead of the hedges, there would have been little that his neighbors could have done. A man finds himself trapped on the 30th floor of the Shinjuku Center building in Tokyo after the entire city was rocked by a 9.1 quake. Now nowhere is safe and there is nothing left to do except to record as doors and cabinets swing open uncontrollably and the entire building shakes. Oh!
Everything grows eerily silent, and then this voice cuts through the speakers. There is a lot of frantic chatter in the background, so I think it was a live broadcast, not a recording. Try and translate if you can, because if you were there, your life may have very well have depended on following these instructions. After a while, the speakers turn off, and the guest hopelessly watches as the buildings sway like trees. It's kind of hard to see what I'm talking about, because the building he's in is shaking too. This second video taken near the top floor of the Shinjuku Center building shows how bad the shaking really was. The buildings look like they are going to topple at any moment, but they are actually designed to be incredibly flexible and can withstand intense vibrations. Keep in mind that these are just the smaller aftershocks and not the actual quake itself, which was, believe it or not, much worse. Are there spirits at play here or just pranksters? Published in November of 2018, the security camera footage shows some suspicious activity in this man's driveway. A man is seen walking to his driveway's gate at around 1 in the morning. As he opens the gate and steps out, a chair that is sitting about 10 feet away flies off the handle, making the man jump out of there. Another dude is seen racing out of the driveway as well. Another short clip shows the man organizing and stacking items in a storage room. As he does, the door suddenly closes. Again, he jumps up, clearly scared. Are these strange events paranormal? Or is some jokester playing pranks on this innocent person? I'm siding with the paranormal object for this one. It might be time to call an exorcist. If you're going to poke fun at the afterlife, you'd better be willing to cross over yourself. Published in September of 2021, these paranormal investigators dive into the mystical Black Forest, a mysterious place in which the occult and other cryptic happenings occur. Here's what they found. The men immediately try to pester the spirits, preparing a ritual in which incense is burning upside down. Yeah. This, they say, is intended to insult the spirit, and this spirit apparently doesn't take to the insult kindly. As the group sits and wait, watching the incense burn, while a candle glows beside it, suddenly the plastic bottle the incense was placed in bursts. It flies off the altar, knocking the candlelight out as well. The pair wonder if something flew into it, although it looks more like something burst out of it. What do you think happened here? Does this spirit have a really short fuse? Imagine playing hide and seek with a mysterious cult. Published by Lego Papa TV in March of 2020, this scary video shows a cultish encounter at a house where lives were taken. Lego arrives at the house that he plans to explore on this fateful night. It looks 100% haunted. He tours the house, arriving at a bathroom in which he says the 71-year-old woman who lived here would take the lives of her victims. He says she buried them in her backyard. As he's about to head upstairs, he hears something, but he assumes it was just animals. Once he gets up there, though, he hears more noise. Hello? While using the spirit box on his phone to try and communicate with the passed away in the bathroom, he sees a flashlight beam hit the wall. When he turns around, he sees many beams of light, and he thinks it could be police, other urban explorers, or maybe something even more nefarious. So he rushes upstairs and hides in another bathroom. Shortly after, he sees flashlight beams on the wall and hears footsteps. They apparently don't see him. After waiting in the darkness for a time, he sneaks downstairs, and while in the basement, he hears more evidence that he's not alone in the house. Footsteps sound on the floor above. 
He gets out of there as quickly as possible and does manage to escape. When finally safely outside, he turns back to look at the house. They are looking for him, whoever they are. Lego writes, this is probably the scariest moment of my life. I have no doubt about that. The Floridian Palace Hotel is a historic gem, but it's believed to be haunted. I've stayed there myself and it definitely has a haunted vibe. Redditor CT Guerrero captured this haunting proof on camera during a daytime visit. So guys, just have a little bit of a walkthrough. Just kind of getting some hot spots in here a little while ago. Let's see what still happens. Is anybody in here with me? Okay. While these specters may be the windows, as the Redditor suggests, I'd consider they might also be one of the many spirits said to haunt the place. What do you think is going on here? It's not me, but it looks like somebody's standing. <laughs> Doing that window? Oh my. Let me back up. Um, hi. Still here? Captured at Hillview Manor in Newcastle, these paranormal explorers face their fears. Published by SCWC in October of 2019, the uploader calls this the scariest moment of their entire life. Although the video has no sound, the YouTuber says footsteps charged at them from down the hallway. The video shows their terrified reaction as they all look toward it. One of them even dives out of the way as the invisible spirit charges toward them. Noting that the footsteps ran between all of them, the uploader writes, The walls and floor shook with every footstep this spirit took while running. Well, you don't see anything run past. This group's synced reaction seems more than genuine. What was in the Hill House with them? This old dormitory has a story to tell. According to the channel 01 Supernatural Studio, who published this video in February of 2022, this dormitory was left behind by a foreign company. After an incident happened in this place, what type of incident though? Well, he doesn't go into detail, but considering the company left this place abandoned, it must not be a good one. Using thermo technology along with an EMF meter, the ghost hunter quickly detects some energy here. As he's exploring the place, he's ascending the stairs when his EMF meter again detects an energy field. His thermo technology spies what looks like a figure in the corner. Later, while he's standing still, he hears a faint noise coming from somewhere within the house. Who is there with him? Maybe this dorm hasn't been abandoned after all. A paranormal explorer from Turkey named Anzari is documenting a haunted tunnel that's too scary for him to get very far. Behind him, an eerie red ring radiates with an evil force. He knows he has to get out quick or else he will succumb to its terrifying effects, but as he creeps near the entrance, the haunted tunnel takes a final swipe at him. And Zari's had enough and decides to block off the tunnel to contain whatever evil is inside. But it seems as though whatever scary thing he's caught on tape has other plans. <laughs> It seems like the rock could have simply fallen over here, but it's very heavy and shouldn't tip over so easily. It's hard to say if it was pushed over by a ghost or simply 
totally off balance to begin with. So let me know if you think this video is paranormal or not. As for why only a small portion of the tunnel would be glowing red like that, I have no idea. This short clip from a paranormal investigation leaves me wanting more. As the device is going off, Danny from Nighthawks Paranormal asks the spirit politely to back off. Can you step away please? Thank you. And it listens. Then the spirit politely asks him to back off. If you want me to leave... Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. This intriguing exchange has me convinced that ghosts really are trying to communicate with us, and it has me convinced to watch the full investigation. Maxime is on a mission to communicate with the spirits in this house. Published by Realized Alterna in April of 2022, and originally published by YouTuber Paranormal Point, this ghost hunter may have made contact with the fiery depths below. As he begins his session at night, something begins to play the piano. A doll is mentioned through the spirit box, and outside this window he sees creepy glowing eyes. When he asks about the doll, he is simply told to find her, and find her he does. He asks what the doll's name is, and receives a scary answer. He is told to do a ritual with the doll. As he's told it's dangerous here, he hears strange screams. He's Slow way to creep it. He later lights the doll ablaze as part of the ritual. As he does, it raises its arm by itself. Is there anything more terrifying than this? Here's hoping the demon was exercised. Is this a man or a monster? Posted to TikTok by Club de Dos Canito One. I think it might be both. No te levantes, no te levantes, por favor. Así quédate, así quédate, no te levantes. Voy a llamar a alguien. A ver, traeré el carro para acá. Lo voy a arriesgar y lo voy a meter a... I'm personally not sure what to make of this clip, but most folks in the comments are making references to Spider-Man. I agree with them on one point. This does look a little like a man morphing into a spider. This unexplained shadow was uploaded by a paranormal ghost hunter named K. Owen. I think it could just be a fast-moving insect, especially since this was recorded on a summer night in the South. But according to K, this is the spirit of a poltergeist in Kentucky who eventually went on to become quite destructive. If K's story is to be believed, then this unexplained shadow is the spirit of a person who took a woman's life in this camper years ago. The deranged paranormal entity would eventually go on to destroy the camper by burning it down just two weeks into the paranormal investigation. I saw a light anomaly, writes Francisco S. Camilla, after uploading this bizarre ring cam footage to his YouTube channel. He has no idea what this was and is looking for answers, so let's try and help. I think this could actually be paranormal because their dog just so happens to go crazy at the same time. The block is quiet and the dog doesn't really have much to bark at other than this strange moving object. Some dogs will bark at nothing so that's not necessarily proof. The way this alleged ghost orb slowly moves makes me wonder if this is actually just a bug that was attracted to the porch light walking across the lens up close to give this strange and spooky effect. <laughs> <laughs> 
Translated from Portuguese, the video's title, The Bride of the Train Line, gives us some inclination of what fears to expect. Published to YouTube by Ravana in July of 2017, a group of adventure seekers are wandering down a train track at night. For a long while, they walk without encountering anything unusual. In the darkness, there's no one for miles around. City lights twinkle in the distance, but the group appears to be far from town. As they walk and chat carelessly along the train tracks, the camera pans to the side for a moment where it captures this figure in white. <laughs> Terrified screaming ensues as the men turn to run back the way they came. The bride figure 2 appears to race away from the tracks, presumably back to her haunted wedding. Does this deter you from jumping trains at night? If not, then you might be next in line to catch the ghostly bridal bouquet. A creepy video is freaking out fans of a celebrity in India named Rhea Chakraborty. She's like in the hotel room she's been staying to living in a horror film. Creepiest of all is this sentence that reads, This is my third room change. Electrical problems could explain problems from the first room, maybe the second, but three times is a bit much. Assuming the hotel staff check the rooms for problems beforehand, which you think they would do, especially for a celebrity, then you have to wonder if the paranormal problem lies within her. It is possible that something within her is triggering paranormal activity while staying at a haunted hotel. I fear so. You're never alone on an amusement park ride. This phantom will make sure of it. Published to YouTube by Eli Zix in September 2015, the following footage will have you looking twice. The clip shows three women and a man riding the pirate ship at an amusement park. Swinging back and forth at the beginning of the clip, there are clearly three women there, but as the video ends, the third woman on the end has completely vanished. Where did she go? Did she fall off the ride? Disappear somehow? Or was she ever really there at all? Some in the comments claim that this girl passed away on this ride two years prior to when this video was filmed. This is all hearsay, but who knows? The truth has to be out there somewhere. An instructor records himself and his students for a teacher evaluation. He's giving a lecture about safety when some strange activities start to happen. Out about what dangers might be. Stephen, don't do that, please. It's distracting. That's one thing. Someone give me another one then. Strangers. Strangers. Right. What we're gonna do? We uh, we need to. Uh, I, t I tell you what, guys. Um, let's let's just go out for a minute. Um. By now, the class is in mild shock as they awkwardly line up and leave. According to the description of this video, later on they would say that they felt a strange static electricity in the air and a tingling sensation in their faces. After they leave, the possible haunting seems to continue for quite some time. Finally, the camera is knocked to the ground by an unseen force and the video ends. A YouTuber named Musafir Vlogs is biking through India late at night when something causes his bike to stop working. They later claim during this part to have felt a spirit close by and upon starting their bike heard a voice. I'm not sure if I hear it or not, but since this video has a lot of likes and so many people who claim to hear it, maybe I'm just not listening correctly. I think I might hear a gulping noise at 7 minutes and 18 seconds. <laughs> Almost like someone taking their final breaths underwater. Tell me what you hear. I like screaming or something in this tunnel. I'm gonna go check it out. You may think you're ready for this list, but some scary videos you're just not meant to see. The boy in this video says he hears something in this tunnel that sounds to him like a scream, so he decides to go investigate. But no, the boy enters the darkness with nothing but a void at the end of it. 
For a while, all you hear is his own footsteps. Then you hear this. Sounds like Alien vs Predator up in here. The kid stops for a moment, and in that quiet, a couple footsteps splash through the water. He then says hello to the creature he cannot see, before heading forward again. But he doesn't get very far. The rattling sound echoes throughout the tunnel before the thing starts to screech in a way that makes your insides tremble. As he runs, the creature quiets for a time but lets out a final terrifying screech as the boy exits the tunnel, likely wondering what in the world he almost happened upon. Is this for real? If so, what lies in the depths of this underground? Dark Dominator thinks it's the rake. Well, the last one suggests it's a feral hog, but I've never heard a rattle like that from a hog before. Lesson learned. The next time you hear screaming in the darkness, it's best to run in the opposite direction. Okay, here's a weird one. The closet door in this bedroom keeps opening by itself, but before I even get into that, look what happens with the lamp. Somehow the bulb becomes extremely bright and goes back to normal despite lacking a dimmer switch. After that, the closet door swings open seemingly all by itself. Tell me if you see any signs of human interference here because I see none whatsoever. There it goes. And as you can see, there's nothing there. <laughs> I thought they were using a hook or something on the bottom right to pull the door open. But when I watched again, I saw it was just a power strip running to the lamp. If anything, the door actually moves the strip out of the way, not the other way around. The closet looks too full to hold another item. But who knows what else was in there staring at them from the other side. A YouTuber named X Hauntings is recording a video of some home improvements in the basement when he records a bizarre white object traveling his way at a high velocity. Normally I would say that this could be a bug or a speck of dust, but X Hauntings also recorded this crazy voice as the object passes by. Tell me if you hear a woman's voice yell, get out as loud as she can. In this next part, I have no idea. I would say dust, but dust particles do not act like this. A chef and his apprentice rummage around the kitchen to do some last minute prep work before opening. One of them undoes the plastic ties from all of the bread and then takes a few steps away. Moments later, he looks over only to see a single remaining piece of bread raise itself in the air and land in the corner with a smack. He tries to explain what happened to a co-worker. As he examines the bread for anything wrong, finding nothing. I was waiting for it to jump back out after he throws it away, but I guess it's done moving for now. Everybody probably thought he was going crazy, and maybe he did too, until they checked out this haunting video for themselves and posted it online. A YouTuber named Shannon Griffin recorded this short scene as part of an amateur film he was working on. One of his friends, Rachel, goes into the alley and the scene ends. It seems simple enough, but look at the bottom left for a weird surprise. The swaying shadow is not supposed to be part of the shot. Later, when Shannon was editing the footage, he was terrified by the strange discovery because nobody was standing off camera there. It's not a tree in the wind because these plants in the foreground don't move at all, while this shadow figure sways wildly. The only explanation I have, assuming that they are telling the truth to begin with, is maybe some nosy neighbor was watching them from a window and casts their shadow on the sidewalk below. But the way the shadow moves is so odd that I don't think this is it at all, so maybe it was paranormal. Dr. Lost Syndrome published this video in May of 2014 writing, a little short video where Maskey gets some payback for the taggers ruining his hideout. The video follows a pair of teenagers in what looks to be an abandoned building in the wilderness. The building is full of graffiti, and one of the lads starts spraying some more over top of it. That's when they hear this strange noise. <laughs> 
The first time they hear it, they brush it off. The second time, they start to wonder what's up. The camera is passed off to the dude while the girl continues spraying in the room. The man heads outside looking around the area and shouting hello. Hello? When there's no response, the two pass off the camera again and then again as the girl goes to check if there's anyone out there while the man continues spray painting. After painting a bit, the man scans the graffiti in the room. That's when he arrives at the door to find Masky outlined in the doorway. The masked man charges him and knocks him to the ground. It appears the man is knocked out cold. What is unclear is what Maskey did with his body. Maskey's revenge is certainly not something you would want to think about as you fall asleep at night. And trust me on that one. Posted to the r slash chills narrator subreddit, Nick Chocolate 19 posted two videos from the same night on a doorbell cam. The redditor writes, On January 10th, 2022, at approximately 9 p.m. that night, my family noticed something weird on the doorbell camera. The orb-like item kept coming into view and setting off the security alerts all night long. Any idea what this could have been? An orb can be seen floating on the right-hand side, and it doesn't appear to be going anywhere. The Redditor posted a second video writing, I posted a video yesterday about an orb on my doorbell cam. I'm posting another video because I want to show it couldn't be something like a helicopter. This is from 6.08am. It did this all night from 9pm. The fact that the orb was visible all night makes it less likely that it's just a camera glitch in my opinion. What do you think this is? Someone's always gotta ruin the party. Posted to TikTok by Suntu Kajasi. This group took a bunch of photos at a waterfall in Indonesia, but one pic turned out much creepier than the rest. As the group poses before this beautiful falls, a black robe figure is spotted, lurking in the background. You cannot see its face, but it seems to be watching them. What is this figure doing? And did it lose their life in these falls? I guess we're left with more questions than answers for this one. A YouTuber named Dark Corners is exploring the deep web when he comes across a video that he instantly regrets watching due to a possible curse. A nauseating noise forces him to take off his headphones, and even though it's in a different language, he still knows that he has witnessed something he was never meant to see. If you are able to read Japanese, please translate the text into English so we can all better understand. I just wanted to add that this long beep is exactly the same noise that hospital equipment makes when you flatline. Which leads me to think that this text could be talking about ending your very life. Let me know if you think my suspicions are correct, or if I was way off with this assumption. We've all been there. It's a stormy night. Every sound in the house is an evil entity vying for your soul. That must have been what this man was feeling when he saw this happen in his dining room on a stormy night. The clip shows a man enter his dining room, which appears completely normal. Every chair in place, he enters his laundry room, then casts the camera down the stairs. It appears that something must have happened to cause him to search his house. He says hello down the stairs. Is someone or something there? He decides to go into his basement to investigate. The wooden steps are incredibly rickety. As he's nearing the bottom, a terrifying racket is heard upstairs. He runs for his life, only to find his kitchen chairs precariously stacked up, balanced one on top of the other. The dining room light is swinging around. The shot is still as the man crosses the room and stands frozen in fear at this ominous sight. The overhead light continues to swing and nothing is there. There's something especially uneasy about the stacking of this man's furniture. Part of that uneasiness comes from the fact that no human could have done this particular building job in the short period of time that the man was away. Who do you think did it? Or what? In church, according to YouTuber Alberto Del Arco, even God has abandoned this church. 
He and his crew visit there, and they find a mysterious document that he's trying to piece together. But as he does, someone is watching over him. Más luz, por favor. Oh, no manches. ¿Qué? Hey, wey. Acabo de ver a alguien arriba. ¿Dónde arriba? Allá. Arriba, en... arriba, sí, en el segundo. ¿En el coro? Sí, sí, sí. Pareciera que hay alguien, güey. Creo que lo tengo aquí. ¿Hay alguien ahí? Hola. Does this figure not want them putting the pieces of the puzzle together, or was there even anyone there at all? Más luz, por favor. Oh, no manches. ¿Qué? Hey, wey. Acabo de ver a alguien arriba. It does look like there's a momentary shadow up there, but I can't really tell if it's a figure or just a shift in the light. What do you see? Although I can't say I'm positive, I hope this pseudo figure is part of this mystery in the making. Number 6. This is what happens when your doll comes to life. Posted on the Ghosts subreddit by Redditor, Enigma's Light 209 who writes, Years ago my sister had a Dora doll. However, we never put batteries in it because at the time we couldn't afford a lot of stuff. My sister was singing and playing with the doll. Not noticing the doll turns its head to look at her. The clip is creepy enough to give you nightmares. The user's sister is in the bathroom, singing and playing at the sink. Her doll is perched beside her, motionless and staring off to the right. About 15 seconds in, the doll's head suddenly turns, looking directly at the camera and into our souls. Nothing more happens in the video, but the way the doll's head snaps around is reminiscent of a bad child's play-like scenario. My advice, destroy that doll immediately. Fire would probably be the best. A British YouTuber named Joe Weller learns from his friend Elliot of a haunted schoolhouse nearby that was built in the 1800s. They agree to go in the middle of the night to make it all the more legitimate and scary. This place is abandoned and yet there's a black gap where the curtain's been particularly drawn back, just enough for someone to peek through. Or maybe this is a shadow person leaning out. Joe wants to turn around before the sight of barbed wire, but Elliot convinces him to jump over and go inside. Someone must have really wanted to keep people out of here, or maybe it's to keep something contained within. They walk around the back way and Ivy is creeping along the walls, so nobody lives here. But wait, someone's at the window, a pale ghost girl. While well, over a dozen people see her, can you? And when he shines his light on it, it's gone. Some urban explorations go from 0 to 100 pretty quickly, and this is one of them. Published to YouTube by Chris Hopkins in June of 2020, while exploring an abandoned naval base on a cold, windy night, as soon as Chris and his crew walked into this building, they heard a loud bang right beside them. Still, they decided to explore the rest of the base, no harm done, until they were getting ready to leave. After walking through the woods, as they were squeezing through a hole in the fence to get to their car, they heard what Chris describes as a Bigfoot, or a ghost, chasing after them. He says it again sounded like it was right next to them. The demonic roar is heard at least two more times after they get through the fence. Chris says they were running so fast that his friend lost his phone in the escape. Of course, other than the creature with big feet, there are other theories. Some think the roar came from a wild pig or a goat man. And some agree that it does indeed sound demonic. Any other ideas? Those ones already have me terrified. Giant moving vat is supposed to pour molten steel into a receiving chamber, where it can be cooled and molded. This receiving must already be full though, because the red hot liquid quickly boils over, and the intense heat causes a huge chain reaction. Liquid steel now blankets the floor as the vat continues to do its automated job, sending more of the lava-like substance spraying everywhere. At 5 minutes and 40 seconds, you can see two scared factory workers emerge from their hiding spot around the corner, where they must have been the entire time. They are extremely lucky to be alive, 
One whiff of the toxic steam would be enough to singe their lungs. Number I just did some research, and I guess if you're gonna get lost at a dead end, creepy bridge, at least if there's some cool legend ghost story behind it, then it's worth checking out, right? An outdoors YouTube channel called Nomadic Fanatic has been camping for a week when he comes across a spooky location, an old bridge that's haunted. According to legend, a bandit named Stuckley was brought to justice here. And apparently every once in a while, if you hear a splash in the water, that's Stucky's ghost behind here. There's nothing you can really do about it. We're out of here. That's about enough of that. Nomadic Fanatic is all by himself, holding a GoPro when he hears a splash below, which is a bit too much of a coincidence. So I guess that means the ghost story could be real. And unfortunately, there is a lot of graffiti left behind here. There's nothing you can really do about I mean, Nomadic Fanatic has been alone all week and has tons of video evidence to prove he was by himself when this happened. I don't see how it could be set up, and therefore I think this scary noise could be a paranormal encounter with a ghost EVP caught on camera. A man is holding very still with his arm out at an odd angle. That's because he doesn't want to attract the wrath of this dangerous little fellow who somehow slithered into a scary situation. He is helpless as his friend carefully pinches his sleeve to determine where the snake is. He makes a cutting motion with his free hand to tell his friend what to do, not wanting to alert the snake with the vibrations of his voice. Once they carefully cut away the sleeve, you can see the snake is curled around his right bicep and in no hurry to leave. The mouth is right by his arm and it would take less than a second to strike with fangs. They wisely pull open the sleeve with the scissors to distract the snake and get its head away from his arm, but there's not enough room so they need to cut more. By now, the snake is getting upset, so with no time left, they reach in and scoop him out. I guess they could have done that the whole time, but it was much too risky to be a first option. Take a look at its markings and tell me what kind of snake this is. I'm guessing by the way they handle it with such extreme caution that it has to be venomous. When there's something angry in your home, it will make its presence known. Published to YouTube by Laney and Ben in June of 2021, this short, scary clip shows their haunted house in action yet again. Laney is making breakfast and walks over to set the dishes on the table, but the moment she turns her back to the cupboard, it swings wide open and a bottle of ketchup is expelled from it. Laney captures a glimpse of the paranormal activity, and although she still appears a bit shocked, it's clear she's seen this sort of stuff before. She simply calls out for Ben and then calmly leaves the kitchen. Is the spirit just reminding Laney not to forget the ketchup, or is this a forewarning? Because a red liquid condiment seems a bit too on the nose. Tell us your theory. What is this poltergeist after? Austin is nervous with anticipation over exploring the haunted Windsor Hotel in Georgia, a 24-hour paranormal investigation challenge that will leave all of them freaked out soon enough. A young person once fell down an elevator shaft in the early 1900s, and the place has been haunted ever since. Her ghost has been seen in hotel mirrors. Objects often move on their own. Austin isn't sure if he believes the paranormal rumors until weird things are caught on camera they've left running overnight. Keys and a wallet fall off the dresser while everyone is asleep. Both objects are planted securely on an even surface and have no reason to drop unless it was a ghost or a string. I don't see either, so I'm not sure what to think about this video at this point, but things are creepy so far. One of them wakes up and goes over to investigate the bizarre occurrence. What's caught on camera next is downright strange. As they are picking up the wallet and keys, a lamp clicks off. The noise sounds exactly like the button on their lamp. You heard, listen. 
You can literally hear the flute. Something had to literally physically turn that off, bro. So there's no doubt that a lamp turns on, but the question or not is if it's the one that's in front of them. If there were four beds in this room, then I feel like there would be a second lamp behind them off camera. Maybe they were turning that one off to make the clicking noise. Still an overwhelming number of people agree this is paranormal. 682 to 15 as of the time of this video, and given the hotel's haunted history, I trust in what they saw and wouldn't be surprised if it was real. These witches either have supernatural powers or have been practicing their parkour. Watch this video from the Paranormal Collective. <laughs> After the first witch jumps, she's followed by at least one other who's waiting in the wings. Well, I'd love to imagine these witches parkouring around the city. I think this is just your run-of-the-mill dark magic. The next time you're getting inked up, you'd best beware the angry poltergeists that may haunt the place. Posted to the ghost subreddit by Little Bo, the uploader explains that the ghost in their studio is becoming increasingly aggressive, particularly targeting men. The video shows the ghost in action. As the artist is preparing to give a customer some ink, several things literally launch from the nearby shelf, falling down on the artist who covers his head. In the comments, the OP says the items that were thrown were a bottle and a Bluetooth speaker. It seems this is not a unique thing for studios. A Redditor mentions their 100-year-old studio's poltergeist is quite active as well. He writes, if you're in the basement, you can hear people walking above you, even if there's no one there, and just a general sense of dread. Once I was there alone after hours drawing, and the phone rang three times, and then read line in use as if someone picked up the phone, I refused to be there alone. The OP responds that the doorbell of their studio also goes off a lot without anyone entering, as they call such events their phantom no-show clients. Is this angry ghost one of their phantom no-shows? We can only guess. This giant snake is so long that it takes a full 20 seconds to record its full length. And when the camera person finally reaches the other end of the snake, they suddenly become prey. The reptile is already facing them and looks to have been waiting for them for the whole time. The camera person only has a few scant moments to let out a startled yelp before the reptile lunges straight at their face. Check out its color and markings and leave a comment saying what kind of snake you think this is. I'm hoping we can figure out what part of the world this took place in and if the snake was venomous, in which case I doubt this person survived. There's a scary haunted tunnel in Pakistan that MMTV wants to go exploring to see what creepy things he can find inside. Exploring a haunted tunnel in the desert at night by yourself. What can go wrong? Apparently a lot. A sparkling cloud of mist lingers around him, spirits he suspects. First it travels in one direction, disappears and comes back to guide him towards the tunnel. That's really weird, but some downright scary things are caught on camera when he goes to the entrance, like this red stain on the ground that shapes the outline of a person. Strange, unexplained lights give him pause, and you can say whatever you want about this freakishly deep laughter. Okay. Oh. 
It's not the wind. The wind doesn't blow tires. He gets out of there fast, not wanting to face whatever is haunting this strange place. And when he takes one last glance at the entrance, he spies movement from above. Something wants to follow him home. After all of these scary moments, I would say yes, this tunnel is haunted. While exploring an abandoned house, make note of what happens in your periphery. Published in March of 2021, the footage you're about to see was recorded in France around 11 p.m. as a pair of paranormal investigators round the corner of a dark, empty room. They discover that it isn't empty after all. Just beyond a picture that's leaning against the wall, a figure moves quickly out of sight as the light falls upon it. It happens so fast that it's difficult to see what the figure even is, but it appears as though it's crouched slightly as it rises up before pulling out of view. The two-man crew approaches the hallway to investigate, but there's nothing there. Did it somehow soundlessly disappear into one of these rooms? Or as we suspect, did it disappear into thin air? When a poltergeist displays his candor over a period of several days, you gotta see it for what it is, a permanent unwanted house guest. Published to YouTube in October of 2019, this video shows a series of poltergeist activities occurring in this couple's kitchen. On day 4, the salt and pepper shaker sitting on the kitchen countertop start to move slightly. Then the salt falls over altogether. On day 8, the couple is in the kitchen. The woman is cooking something and sets the hand blender on the counter. It's turned off. She goes to the fridge to retrieve an egg and this happens. She drops the egg in fright, while the man calmly turns off the blender. On day 24, the man enters his kitchen to get a glass of water. His back turned to the stove, one of the burners suddenly turns on of its own accord. A pan on the stove slowly slides over to the lit burner, again all on its own. The man just stands there drinking his water, watching this happen. He takes two eggs from the fridge and sets them on the counter, inviting the poltergeist to cook. Maybe this is the best way to go about living with a poltergeist. Just accept that you have a third, somewhat mischievous roommate. A CCTV of a hotel cleaning service after hours captures an unexplainable event that leaves them scared and confused. The hallway is calm and still a shadow person runs up to the cart and then turns away leaving a faint trail behind. The CCTV ghost looks like it's a glitch, if you ask me or else special effects altogether. I wish that the camera was just a little closer, because then it would be much easier for us to tell. Sometimes Ghost Hunters Become the Hunted, published by Yoon Sai Won in April of 2021. That's what happened to this Korean ghost hunter on one of his most recent investigations. Upon entering the haunted locale, he hears a strange noise. 안녕하세요. It could be a dog barking in the distance, but who knows? Whatever it is, he has a bad feeling. <laughs> and that feeling grows when the EMF meter reacts strongly, despite there being no electricity in the place. Using facial recognition software, faces also start to appear around the abandoned place. <laughs> and they're getting closer by the second. Later, as the ghost hunter is using a spirit box, he hears a loud bump in the night. And then again as he continues his search. Is Yoon Sai Won being stalked? It may be best to call off this ghost hunt. Is this cat talented or is it possessed? Published by Daryl Zand in May of 2012, this couple captured their cat acting out of character, crawling between the upper door frames near the ceiling like some crazy trapeze artist. As the couple is filming, a mysterious vibrant blue streak flies toward the camera. The cameraman sees it in the moment and comments on it. Oh, that was weird. Was that a ghost orb? 
Some in the comments certainly think so, but most think the cat was scared beyond measure, not possessed. The cat even appears to watch the strange orb as it flies across the room. What do you think? Scared, possessed, or something else altogether? Looking for a haunted location? Your best bet is to choose somewhere with a scary history. Steve Ronan, an American urban explorer, traveled to the United Kingdom to investigate a Victorian-style mansion, believed to be the site of a gruesome taking of life. Despite its longevity, the event took place in 2006, when then-homeowner Christopher Lumsden and did his wife's life in a jealous rage. She had allegedly just returned from dinner with her lover when the incident occurred. Despite the viciousness of the event, Lumsden only served five and a half years when he was released on license, the British legal system's equivalent of parole. Intrigued by the story, Ronan decided to investigate at the home in order to see if he could come up with answers. Upon arrival, the front of the house is littered with large trash, including several beds, some broken walls, and what appears to be clothing. At the time the video was filmed, renovations were ongoing to prepare the house to be put up for sale. It is unknown if the trash was from the house itself or was left there randomly, but it would be strange if so many pieces of clothing were left behind. The first bit of the video is Ronan and his team exploring the house, finding it in a state of disrepair. At one point, they find a strange piece of wallpaper on the floor. The same system is seen covering the walls of a room. Room. Written on it are various strange phases, including Carpe Diem Dungeons Fire, Jungle Truth or Dare Power. What this means is a mystery, and it's a strange design to have as a wallpaper. Things quickly take a turn for the creepy when they find a red stain on the floor of one of the rooms in front of a dresser. On closer inspection, it is a sizable red blot stained into the floorboard that was once beneath the now torn up carpet. It definitely is believable that it's what we're all thinking, since the coloration does resemble when such a stain has aged over time. One of the crew decides to shine a UV light on the spot. As he explains, the spot remains visible as a dark purple under the light, instead of blending into the floor. Also, while it is not mentioned, there are spots that weren't visible when the light wasn't on. Going off the find, they decide to begin a spirit box session in the room. The method they use is simple, as they find a radio and rapidly shift through the channels. After a couple of questions and one false alarm, a voice comes through the static saying, You were tricked. You were tricked. Did you just hear you were tricked? This is strange as immediately before that, they were discussing whether or not they were deceived into believing another house entirely was the location of the gruesome life taking. At the beginning of the video, they spoke with a security guard of another residence who claimed the occupied house was the actual location of the incident. However, they were not allowed in and went to this house nearby that is also said to be where the incident happened. Could it be possible they are communicating with something who knows they were tricked? The group hears various answers come through the radio, although admittedly it is hard to hear whether it is actually something answering them or simply words from the radio programs coming through and sounding like answers. Next, the group decides to conduct an EVP session to see if they can hear anything else. During the session, the group hears noises and something like shuffling is picked up on the EVP. At this time, nobody in the room is moving or talking. They also hear something that sounds like chewing or moving their mouth. After asking a question, some sort of faint whisper can be heard right before the next question is asked. If so, who was the one who murdered you?
unfortunately, is too difficult to decipher what, if anything, is being said as it is too quiet. After nothing else seems to come through, finally the group uses an actual spirit box, which automatically and rapidly changes stations so quickly you can't hear what is being said by the program. Ronan asks if anyone can tell what happened and if there was an event of a life being taken. Soon after, a voice comes through with what sounds like yes, immediately followed by what sounds like someone died. Soon, a male voice comes through with what Ronan thinks sounds like wasn't me. So much the moment that is guaranteed to send chills down your spine is when a woman, either laughing, crying, or possibly screaming, can be heard. The investigation wraps soon after, and Ronan leaves with what could be considered valuable evidence. The event that occurred in the home has left an imprint, and not just the stain on the floor. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.